Okay, now we're going to analyze quickly the first sentence of our exercise. We received uh, exercise A. The children laughed when the clown fell. Okay, so if I go straight to rule number one, it says that a sentence has two options. Okay, see it as an imaginary line between them. Okay, either it has a sentence modifier and a sentence score, or it has a subject and a predicate. In this case, for the children laughed when the clown fell, there is no sentence modifier. There's not a word that modifies the whole sentence. So I cannot use the first line. So I jump it. I go to the second line because I know that in the sentence there is a subject and there is a predicate. Now, look at rule number three. Because I am in subject now. I need to find out what's inside of a subject. Well, subjects are composed of noun phrases. Now, go to rule number four. What does the noun phrase have? Noun phrase, similar to the sentence rule, has two lines. So, you can either go with line number one or with line number two. Option one or option two. Option one, sorry, option two says that there should only be a pronoun. In this case, is there a pronoun? No, it says the children. So I'm not going to use option number two. I automatically go in my mind, okay, there is no pronoun. I can go straight to the noun phrase option number one. So the option number one says that there could be a determiner. There can be up to three determiners. There can be an adjective phrase. There has to be a noun. The noun could be plural. And there, is, there could be a prepositional phrase. In this sentence, what do I have? Do I have a determiner? Yes, I do. I have the. The is the determiner. Do I have a noun? Yes, I have the noun children. But wait, children is plural. What's the original, the singular form of children? Child. So that's what I put under the letter N. Followed by a line that indicates that this noun, that this noun is in plural. Notice that the line does not come from the noun, it comes from the noun phrase, okay? It's telling me that in this noun phrase, we're talking about a plural. <clears throat> now we work with the second part. We finish with the children. Now, as soon as we see laugh, we know, okay, now I'm starting into the predicate. So the predicate will be composed of laughed when the clown fell. Now, the predicate. Is there a rule for predicate? Yes, there is. Go to rule number seven. <clears throat> the rule says that there is an auxiliary, a verb phrase, and an adverbial. Okay, do we see auxiliary and verb phrase? Well, the word laughed. What is that? Well, you automatically think it's a verb. Okay, very good. It's a verb. But since we haven't discussed how auxiliary and verb phrase, what are they composed of, we do this little triangle and we leave it in laughed. Okay? Now, the rule for number seven says that the sentence could have an adverbial. So imagine if the sentence had only said, the children laughed. Well, then you would have finished here. The children laughed. You would have left it there. There wasn't anything else. And that was your sentence. But the sentence doesn't say that. It says, the children laughed when the clown fell. So there is an adverbial. Now I have to decide, well, now I have to identify what type of adverbial? Is it an adverbial clause? Is it an adverbial phrase? Or is it a prepositional phrase? That's rule number eight. As you can see, rule number eight gives me three options. I can't choose both or three. I have to choose one. Remember, whenever you see rule, you, whenever you see these explanations, one on top of the other, it means that there are rules. Specifically, when you have these uh, the corchetas, I don't remember the word in English. When you have these type of parentheses, it means that it's you have to choose one you have to choose one okay remember that now what is this well I have to decide if you head out to the chapter 5 PDF the notes it gives you on rule number eight examples for each one for adverbial clause the boys left before their father could find them Adverbial phrase, the boys work very quickly. Prepositional phrase, the boys eat lunch in the city. In this case, when you look at the sentence, it says, when the clown fell. Hmm, 
when the clown fell. Let's look at rule number nine for a moment. Rule number nine says adverbial clause. It means it'll have an adverbial subordinator like before and then something else for uh, then continuing the sentence. So let's see, is the word when an adverbial subordinator? Yes, it is. It's similar to before. So this sentence, this part here, this adverbial is an adverbial clause. Now, adverbial clause has a rule, which is number nine. It says adverbial subordinator, then sentence. The adverbial subordinator here is the word when. Now we draw another line, which sends us to the next section, sentence. Hmm, what are the, what's the rule for sentence? Aha, uh -huh, yes, that's right. Go back to rule number one. Rule number one gives me options. Sentence modifier, sentence score. There is no sentence modifier here. We're going straight to sentence, to subject and predicate. What is the subject of this, of this part? The clown, that's right. Subjects in rule number three indicates that they need to be composed of noun phrases. What is a noun phrase? Noun phrase, we go to rule number four. It could have a determiner, it could have an adjective phrase, it must, it must have a noun, it can be plural, and it could have a prepositional phrase. If you look at the option number two, it means that maybe this has a pronoun. Does it have a pronoun? No, it says the clown. It didn't say when he fell, it said when the clown fell. So I have to use the first option. So the, what is the? Determiner. What is clown? The noun. Is it in plural? No. Okay, leave it at that. Now let's go to the predicate. The word fell. Well, the predicate in rule number seven says that it has to have an auxiliary and a verb phrase. Guys, this part is easy. Triangle it and leave it with fell. We're done. There's nothing else. Nothing else to analyze right now until we get into more structure rules.